Welcome back to continuing coverage of UC Athletics here on GoBearCats.com. Tom Glitter with you today. Had a chance to chat with Olympian Mary Weinberg as she prepares to head over to Beijing. Mary, first, congratulations. I know it's been a very exciting, a crazy couple of weeks. What have the emotions been like going through trials and now preparing to finally make that trip over to Beijing and represent the United States as an Olympian? I'm um, heading into the trials. You know, it's always a nervous experience. You're full of nervousness. You're full of, you know, excitement at the same time. So I think for me... Um, on the final day of the trials, after I found out that I made the team and I realized I was just really excited and overwhelmed and it really didn't sink in at first. And I think now um, that I was able to come back from Europe and relax at home, it's now sunken in that, hey, I'm, I'm an Olympian and I'm going to the Olympics. So I'm really excited. Has the gear started to show up yet? Have you got the red, white and blue warm ups and, and all the all the good looking stuff you get to walk around Beijing in? Unfortunately, no. We um, all meet up for Team USA in San Francisco, and we do our team processing, and that's where they'll actually give us our uniforms, and they still won't even put them in your hands as of yet. You basically try on your uniform pieces to see if they fit, and then they put them back in the suitcase and put them all on a truck, and we'll get them once we get in Beijing. Now, before we get it too far into Beijing, do they have a charter plane, big red, white, and blue American flag on the side that you're all flying on, but you are all going together to Beijing? Um, I'm not sure what kind, of flight, what kind of flight, but I know that most of the athletes, they compete on different times, so some are actually already there and then for me we have to be there 10 days out um, for our event so there'll be a lot of athletes on there on my flight and I think it's um it's a Delta flight or a United flight but either way it goes I don't think we have a special plane but it would be nice if they did do something like that for us I think you'll all be pretty special occupants on that plane either way once you get out there let's go back to Eugene and the Olympic trials a little bit obviously you were running very well you had two great races in the preliminaries and then the semifinals what were the emotions like and how did you stay focused that whole week because you did have quite a bit of a break there before the finals um, it was hard you know trying to stay focused there were some other things that you know of course I was thinking about but just talking with my coach, um, we just said, you know, the plan is to make this team, and that's what you're here for, and that's what you need to concentrate on doing. So our goal was to just get through the rounds. Um, it worked out well that I was able to win each of my round, the first round and then the second round, and that it was really good to set me up for the final. And that was our goal, to get a good lane draw for the final race and just to let it all out. And surprisingly, I ran a different race. I went with a different race plan for the final day, and, you know, I was just very excited and happy that I was able to hold on for that second place finish because if you were able to see the race, I'm struggled a little bit with the last 50 meters and that's primarily because I took it out a little too hard that I'm used to so you know I'm just thankful things work out for the best oh and the best it is as you will represent the United States over in Beijing what has the training been like for you since the time you qualified you knew you made that Olympic team and now you're getting ready for the games um right after the trials um I my final was on Thursday I actually came home um and then I flew back out to Europe for three more meets um for three weeks and then I finally got home last week so the training kind of has been a little off but now that I'm home for two weeks um, I was able to get in some good training and I think I'll be fine once I get to Beijing and kind of get off the plane there and do a couple more um, training sessions to get used to accustomed to the air pollution there and see how things work out. You've been to the world championships you won a gold medal as part of the relay team there you've been in some pretty big meets over the course of your career but obviously this is what you've been your goal your entire career was to become an Olympian can you even begin to imagine what the emotions will be like on August 8th at the opening ceremonies when you're representing the United States alongside some of the great Olympians alongside LeBron James and folks like that <laughs> um again like I said I think it'll just be really exciting and amazing and I think once I'm actually there participating in the opening ceremonies I think it'll really hit me maybe even make me cry a little or you know some but like I said I'm excited it's, you know, a once in a lifetime opportunity. And for me to actually have made this trip and be able to make the trip, I'm just totally thankful. So what will the training be like once you get there, once you get acclimated to the time zone changes to the different climate there? And you're moving forward. August 8th is the opening ceremonies, but you don't run really for eight days into the Olympics. Right. I'm um, really mostly we'll just get over there and do some short, quick speed work. I'm pretty much if I don't have it now, I'm not going to get it in a week. So basically our training for the whole year was to build up to this. And so I think I'm ready. And, you know, I'm just going to stay calm, stay focused and just really realize that um, as of last year, I really thought, oh, you know, I can just make it to the world championships and then to medal at the World Championships last year. You know, now my goal is to go into this Olympics and really try to go after a medal in the 400 and also in the 4x4 relay. What does it mean for you personally to fight for so long? A lot of people make their first Olympics at a younger age, and you've really peaked later on where, you know, some people are already hanging it up at this point and said you're hitting the peak of your career. What does it mean personally? Um, it means a lot because, you know, for me, I am I guess I'm considered, a lot of people will call me a late bloomer and, um, 
most of my competitors, this is their second Olympics. Actually, the two girls, um, Sonia Richards and Dee Dee Trotter, this is their second Olympics, and it's only my first. And at 28, it's my first. And for them, I think they're 25 and 26, I, I think. So, you know, for me, it's really amazing. Um, I still have it. I even have it for another four more years. I'm going to try for 2012 also. So I'm just really excited. I'm really pumped. Olympics number one is definitely a very exciting time for Mary Weinberg. Very exciting time for the University of Cincinnati. You'll have a lot of folks back here at UC and in the greater Cincinnati area cheering for you as you head over there. Best of luck. Bring back some more gold medals, and we'll look forward to chatting with you when you get back. Thanks very much. All right, that is all with Olympian. Mary Weinberg, I'm Tom Glitter. Make sure you keep your browser locked to GoBearCats.com for all the updates on Mary throughout the 2008 Beijing Olympics. We'll keep you updated here on GoBearCats.com.